Hey guys, what's up? This is going to be my video on the compatible Cydia packages on the 4.3.1 firmware. Many users have been upgrading to this firmware and have been jailbroken using the untethered jailbreak for 4.3.1 and are unsure what Cydia packages are compatible with this firmware. Now, for all of these Cydia packages that I list in this video, now all of these Cydia packages will be listed in this video and they will also be in the description in case you missed it. And if any of the, and if more Cydia packages are compatible with the 4.3.1 firmware, I will list it in the description as well. Now, the first one is Dreamboard. Now, Dreamboard basically allows you to have a winterboard alternative, which isn't a full alternative, although it does go hand in hand with winterboard so now this uses less ram and it is much faster now currently there isn't a wide variety of themes available on dreamboard but there is a few themes uh, on dreamboard and many developers are developing themes for dreamboard and it definitely has a better user interface and then overall it runs very smoothly on any device on 4.3.1 and it definitely is one of the best Cydia packages to have on your device. Now mobile terminal basically allows you to use terminal commands on your device so that you can easily remove uh, processes that are backgrounding on your device and many other commands like that. Now this is very useful in many ways and it is definitely an essential to have on your device. Now the next one is OpenSSH. Now OpenSSH is definitely a vital Cydia tweak which basically allows you to SSH between your computer and your device. Now this is the only way to SSH using this Cydia tweak and definitely is an essential Cydia tweak. Now the next, next one is iFile. Now iFile basically allows you to uh, easily SSH into your device without without needing to use a computer and it is very simple and it is and it is very easy to change the location for weather widgets and also to edit the app icons for certain themes and it is very simple and you don't have to SSH into your device using Cyberduck for Mac or WinSCP for all of the uh, computers running the Windows OS. Now InfiniDoc basically allows you to scroll easily through your dock now, using InfiniDoc, it is very simple, and it just adds the scrolling ability on your dock, so you can have more uh, icons than the usual four that is limited on the iPhone, and you can easily scroll through it, very, and it is seamlessly integrated into the OS. Now, SV settings basically allows you to easily toggle features on your device, including brightness. You can easily toggle Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on and off, and 3G as well. Now, it is very simple. Uh, to just slide to the left across your uh, status bar and it is very easy to use and it is definitely one of the best Cydia tweaks to have on your device and it is very essential. Some of the Cydia tweaks that are being developed you can just toggle some features on and off using SB settings for example the Celeste Bluetooth tweak you can easily toggle it on and off using SB settings and many other Cydia tweaks have integrated SB settings uh, now the next one is lock info. Now lock info basically allows you to have a quick glimpse of all of the uh, mail, calendar, missed phone calls, and many other uh, on your lock screen. So then it is very easy to get a quick glimpse of your missed calls, your voicemails, your text messages without even unlocking your phone. Now you can also easily respond to emails and text messages using this and you can quickly call back. And now there is many uh, themes developed for lock info which is seamlessly integrated and it looks very nice it, and it also can blend in with the themes that you're using by enabling a theme for lock info now that is why lock info is by far one of the best uh, CD tweaks to have on your device and it, that is why it is also highly recommended now the next one is gridlock now gridlock basically is a very simple tweak but it is very vital uh, because it now basically allows you to place your icons anywhere on your springboard without following the grid which is on the stock device when you are when you do not use this tweak now this definitely is an eye blank alternative and also it is a replacement so it is very easy to use and it mostly is used when you are using a theme that has a weather widget at the top or at the bottom so it basically you can use it there so so then your icons match the theme and your icons don't uh, go over the actual weather widget 
Now, the next one is multi cleaner. Now, now multi cleaner serves many functions on your device, basically enhancing the actual multitasking, and it also uh, is very simple and easy to use. And it by far is one of the best uh, tweaks to have on your device since you can easily clean up the multitasking and add many features that are not already on the multitasking and it should already be on the multitasking. Now the next one is Switcher Plus. Now Switcher Plus is a very simple Cydia tweak but it is very useful which allows you to have fast app switching or multitasking on your lock screen so you can just simply double tap the home button and it will take you straight to your multitasking bar and from there you can easily uh, choose the app that you want to launch straight from your lock screen and with even without locking your device now by using the Cydia tweak I definitely re recommend lock screen dim delay so when you're on the lock screen you can still use your multitasking without your device uh, shutting off since it is on auto lock. Now the next one is scrolling board. Now scrolling board serves many functions in one Cydia tweak. Now, with scrolling board you can uh, easily have a scrolling dock and also scrolling folders. So now you can easily vertically scroll through your folders that have uh, more than 12 icons within it which is the stock limit with your device but by using scrolling board you can easily scroll through it and it also does add many uh, many options to the folders. Now also when you're scrolling through uh, your your dock you, the, you don't only get the ability to swipe through your uh, dock you can also add the multitasking features uh, in your dock so you can actually have the uh, iPod controls and basically the apps that are in your multitasking bar and also with an add-on uh, called the SV settings add-on. You can also have the SV settings in your dock so you can easily change the features in the SV settings without actually having to use the SV settings uh, application that is seamlessly integrated. Now this is definitely an Infini dock replacement since it has the sheer usability to this actual Cydia tweak. Now the next one is SV rotator uh, for 4x which is iOS 4 and above. Now SV now with SB Rotator, it allows you to easily rotate through your springboard so you can rotate it in all four orientations much like the iPad allows you to do. Now this is made by the same developer of Scrolling Board. Now this is definitely a very cool tweak, but uh, this uh, tweak just is very simplistic, but yet it has the ability to uh, view your device in all four orientations. Now the next one is Synchronicity. Now synchronicity basically allows you to use your device while you are syncing it with iTunes. Now now this is definitely a great feature. Now it is much like the Cydia Tweak Free Sync, but uh, in some ways synchronicity is better. It allows you to have the ability to use your device while it is syncing, but not only while it is syncing, you can also launch uh, apps and many other uh, games. But uh, there also is the red illuminated status bar at the top to notify you that your device is still syncing although when you launch intensive apps it may crash at times. Now the next one in this video is Bitefont. Now Bitefont basically allows you to uh, customize the fonts on your device so this is definitely a font swap alternative and replace since you can customize all the fonts found on your device even on your home screen and on the notes application rather than the stock notes uh, fonts that you can change to chalkboard and so on now the next one in this video is barrel barrel is a very simple yet very useful tweak which allows you to have custom page animations when you slide to the next page now some of the effects that is included with barrel include uh, a 3D effect when you switch pages and also curl and roll away which actually curls your icons and then it rolls away as it moves to the next page. Now the next uh, Cydia package that is compatible with the 4.3.1 firmware is Infini Folders. Infini Folders is a very simple tweak but it is very useful for people that use the folders uh, app uh, in the iOS 4.3. Now this basically allows you to add an infinite number of apps within the folders and it also adds the scrolling effect of vertically scrolling through your pages and it also breaks the limit of 12 icons within a folder. 
So thank you for watching this video on the on the compatible Cydia packages for the 4.3.1 firmware. Please be sure to subscribe, please like this video, and thanks for watching.